Let's turn now to Syria, where government troops and tanks are this morning attacking a town near the Turkish border. Witnesses say homes have been burned and dozens of people arrested. This comes after yesterday's bloody crackdown, when at least 19 people were reported killed as the government continues to try and crush a three-month popular uprising in a wide-ranging military assault. CBS News correspondent Wayne Andrews is in Turkey, just across the border from Syria. Wayne, good morning. Good morning, Russ. Syria's dictator Bashir al-Assad has been trying to crush these pro-democracy demonstrations by using the tactic of extreme violence, but all he's really done is kill 1,400 of his own people, filled up refugee camps here in Turkey, and has actually strengthened opposition demands that he reform or resign. Demonstrators in every part of Syria turned out in a show of defiance and rebellion not seen before. In Hama, where Assad's father in 1982 killed tens of thousands of protesters, almost 15,000 demonstrators marched on Friday, shouting, Freedom for Syria. But in the coastal city of Homs, the army fired into the crowds yet again. Human rights activists reported 19 people died nationwide, a number that cannot be confirmed. In the overflowing refugee camps inside Turkey, the anger against Assad is intense. May Allah destroy him, this woman says, the way he has destroyed us. She and several other refugees who have fled to these camps in Turkey told us their stories using cell phone videos. They asked not to be identified. There isn't a single thing that Assad hasn't done, she is saying. He's torched our homes, robbed the shops, and raped the girls. That charge of widespread rape by the Syrian army was repeated by this woman. We saw the horrible and shameless things the army did, she told us, so I ran away to protect my honor. With the camps now filling to capacity, Angelina Jolie, a UN refugee ambassador, paid a visit. It was brief, but the point was made. The world is watching. The pressure on Assad is now such that he's agreed to address the Syrian people on television as early as Sunday night. We do not know if he plans to offer any democratic concessions, but even his best diplomatic friends here in Turkey are demanding that he institute democratic reform and stop killing innocent people. Russ? Wyatt Andrews in Turkey. We'll see you later in the broadcast.